Hi everybody, it's Al again, and uh, I wanted to do a quick uh, update on the aquaponic system. Uh, so I've uh, already cut those two barrels uh, so that the tops uh, are cut out and you just simply flip them upside down and they fit right on top of the barrel because the lip is uh, wider in diameter so it's easy uh, to do that. So if I were to take this out for example, uh, if I were to take that out, you could take that off and then take that new lid and it falls right in place. It's real easy. So I like that. Uh, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, use uh, some uh, two inch tubing that you see there. And we're gonna join those two barrels together with two inch tubing and put a sump. Uh, inside, a pump inside, a uh, sump pump. So uh, we'll circulate water and we'll have an air stone in it. This is going to be our brood tanks for the tilapia. So here's where the fingerlings are going to go. And then we're going to get an IBC tote and put it over there. Uh, that frees up essentially 12 of those blocks. So I'm going to use three in each corner to raise it up. And the drums uh, frame have has come along. Uh, I, I built supports on the sides of them so they don't splay open and so now these grow beds are going to be ready for the media which uh, I'm going to go to Houston this week uh, and uh, pick up uh, some bags uh, to fill them up with. Uh, the barrels uh, on the bottom which are the sumps are also likewise going to be connected by uh, a two inch tube and uh, I cut them out and let me see you what that looks like. Uh, so there's a big old hole in the top for the pipes to drain from the siphons, from the bell siphons, and that's where they'll go. Uh, so you'll have uh, one barrel over there with a bell siphon, and you can kind of see the hole on that one too. If I lift this one up, you can see that there. Uh, once that thing is uh, filled up, uh, they're gonna it's going to be pretty heavy so that's why those two by fours are underneath and then uh, resting on blocks um, from there the water is going to go from a sump pump and we'll go to the tote and then there's going to be an overflow on the tote which is where the grown tilapia is going to be are going to go and that to that uh, overflow is going to feed all six trays so that's kind of where we are right now we're still in the in the design stages i just got all of the uh, parts that I needed to build the bell siphons which is uh, which you see down there uh, the bell siphons are going to use one inch uh, tubing for the siphon itself and then uh, uh, it's going to use uh, two inch tubing for uh, the bell itself so the siphon is going to be one inch the bell is going to be two inches and then the casing on the outside for the water to flow into it and, and to keep all the rocks out it's going to be that four inch pipe that you see and then uh, so I have uh, all of the fittings that I need for the drain tubes and the bell siphons and everything and uh, we'll show you how that goes together but anyways I uh, just wanted to do a quick video on that uh, our sprinklers are going on those plants right now over there and also they are going over there so we do waste a lot of a lot of water uh, that it's gonna get fixed by doing this and so we're we're in a beginning stage right now hopefully if this works out really good uh, then we'll clear out that building over there pull the boat out put it somewhere else and I clear that building and we're gonna enclose it uh, front and back take the roof out and then uh, put the uh, uh, put the panels the clear panels on the top to convert that into a greenhouse uh, I just ordered today uh, a 16 inch th uh, thermostatically controlled fan that we're going to put up there and then that thermostat is also going to control a set of louvers that are going to go uh, in there um, and we'll make the room for the barrels I'll have to elevate those a little bit so we can have uh, so we so we'll be able to get the louvers 
uh, mount it low enough that the air gets thrown out. Uh, same over here. Um, we'll put louvers on that end as well. Uh, but that's going to be for a um, evaporative cooler that we're going to put in place. So we're going to have a thermostat controlled evaporative cooler as well as the exhaust fan and then we're going to seal the openings up here. Uh, so I'm not going to use those. I'm going to make the system as uh, least complex as possible and, and more like a commercial system. As you can see right now it's in the afternoon. It's about quarter after six and it's about 100 degrees in this, in this greenhouse here. So it works really good. It just needs to be uh, temperature control. So anyways, that's the update. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, we'll keep you posted. God bless. Take care.